What's going on guys, Dylan Spangenberg, Fitness TV here, and today I'm gonna go over with you the basics on high bar squatting versus low bar squatting. Okay, the biggest thing you need to consider when high bar, low bar squatting actually doesn't even involve where your hands are or where the bar is placed, but actually where your feet are placed. Everybody knows that on a high bar squat, the bar is going to be higher, and on a low bar squat, the bar is going to be lower. What people fail to do properly is put their feet in the right place. So I'm going to show you guys the biggest difference on where your feet need to be on a high bar squat versus a low bar squat. So the first thing that I'm going to demonstrate is going to be your high bar squat. And now on a high bar squat, you're gonna to wanna to stay more upright with your stance, with your torso, and you wanna have your feet a little bit closer together, right around shoulder width, maybe a little bit wider. Now on the low bar squat, you're gonna see that my bar position is a lot lower and that I have my stance much wider than I did. And the reason that is the way it is, is because on that low bar squat, if we're coming down, it's gonna be damn near impossible to keep that torso straight up. So to actually do a proper low bar squat, you're actually gonna see my torso tip forward just a little bit. It's also going to give you a little bit shorter range of motion, allow you to lift some heavier weight. So this is how that's going to look. And you're going to see that my foot position is significantly wider, and I even pitch my toes out a little bit more than I was on that high bar squat. As you could tell, there's a pretty major difference between the two squats. That doesn't make sense. Now the reason somebody would want to choose a low bar squat would be a shorter range of motion. You're gonna recruit more glute strength, hamstring, hamstring strength, hamstring strength, and more of your posterior chain. And on that high bar squat with a more narrow stance, you're going to involve a little bit more of your anterior chain, especially in the first half of the movement. You're going to use a lot more quadriceps and less glutes and hamstrings until you break parallel. Guys, so there you have it. That's the biggest difference on what you need to be doing on your high bar squat versus your low bar squat. Let me know if you're going to try this in the comments section down below. Also let me know if you did go try this because of this video and you, you took the advice that I gave you and it worked. I know it's gonna work for you, but you just gotta make sure you go try it. But thanks for watching guys, this is Dylan Spangberg, Fitness TV, and I'm out. Peace.